This is Would You Rather by Norma Tech by HyperEyes. I'm your host, Mike Riley. Fast-paced questions for even faster athletes. Well, one of these yep. two. Anyway, let me, let me do the introduction. We've got Moldy Time Xterra, world champion, won the race in Maui. She's won it in Europe, won the U.S. championship. And what you don't know, an accomplished actress and filmmaker, and we're going to talk about that. Leslie Patterson from Scotland. Thank Hello, you. Leslie. Thank you. I hope you can understand me today. Oh, we got you. And then Simon Marshall, who actually holds his PhD in sports and exercise psychology, uh, a renowned coach. And if you ever want to get into the mental game of endurance sports, he's your guy. So welcome, Thank you, Simon. Mike. Nice to be here. Well, this is uh, a pleasure because you, 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 you remember the old wild and crazy guy with Steve Martin. I call you guys the wild and crazy oh, yeah. couple. Definitely. Uh, just, uh, I, I love you. Love your lifestyle. Love what you do and how you approach uh, endurance sports and approach uh, life itself. But, you know, during all this tough time, uh, before we get started with the question and answers, how you guys been doing? Mate, I'm I'm trapped in here with my husband of 18 years. How do you think I'm doing? She's like she's like a caged hamster. That's the only way to describe it. That's right. <laughs> she's going <laughs> around on that wheel. Just How many? Like, oh my god! Up yeah. downstairs. Up downstairs. Up downstairs. Well, you probably had a lot of time to do a little writing, which is that, which is a good thing. I I've been doing some of that, so that that's great. Tell us a little bit about the screenplay. Of all quiet on the Western Front, the great World War One novel that you guys finally, after ten or twelve years, have had it accepted, and it looks like it's going to come. To yes, the so it's a crazy journey, and um, we got the rights to the novel. So all of my undergraduate and master's degrees are actually in theater and acting and all things creative, um, and a lot of people don't know that about me. So if you want to see me acting in a stupid horror film, do not Google. Please do not Google my name in horror films. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, we, we, we got uh, the rights to the, the famous World War One novel. It's a German novel. And we adapted it into a new screenplay and uh, have spent the last 12 years trying to get this off the ground. It's incredibly challenging. I'd say even harder than an Iron Man. Um, and we finally uh, signed a deal with Netflix. So we're going to be shooting the film in Europe next wow. year. Yeah. yeah. So very exciting. Well, if you need an extra, if you need an extra, I'll lose a little weight like a World War I soldier. That's okay? right. It can be dead, dead German number 13. How's about that? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Just to say I was in a film with you guys. <laughs> All right. What, what we do is this is fast-paced questions. We go back and forth of would you rather. And uh, what I'm going to do is start a little differently. I'm going to ask you, Les, some questions specifically. And then go to Simon. And then we'll go together. So, Leslie, would you rather act in a film or write it? Write it. I don't want to. I don't want to pick anyone else All off. All right. Would you? You like training solo or with a group? Group. Group. Would you rather race in North America or Europe? Europe. <laughs> what do you What do you miss about Scotland? Your home. Haggis, country? of course. Have you ever tasted it? <laughs> Yeah, I, I knew you were going to say It's that. awesome. It's great. Great post-racing. It. Post-racing food, man. You can't go wrong with it. Just never ask how it's made. Well, that, that, just, that just blows my post-racing food question. <laughs> <laughs> what do you miss most playing uh, when you were playing rugby with all the boys? Besides kicking uh, yeah, I miss beating them up. Uh, it was, it actually, it was a great excuse <laughs> to get close to a lot of boys. It was perfect. Yeah. This is what I have to deal with. I know, uh, I know. Well, what can I tell you? He's kept me locked in for time. That's okay, Simon. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll get to you. So what's, what's been your favorite independent film that you acted in? Oh, definitely. So uh, what, I acted what, what, in a horror film, and I had to get eaten in half by a chupacabra. Yeah, like one of those animals in the <laughs> desert. Yeah, so and, and we did this really yeah, yeah. stupid thing. I had to like kind of hang out the back of this minivan and pretend like I had to have my arms up in the air and, and they kind of created a second torso for me that was all kind of ripped in shreds with loads of entails and I had to kind of like pretend that this was my body and like scream and shout as I was eaten by a monster. 
<laughs> I am. I have got <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Right after this, I'm looking that babe, baby up. So here's a lot. Brad Pitt or Leonardo? Oh, DiCaprio. Brad Pitt. You kidding me? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, you're Brad Pitt. What gives you really more satisfaction, competing or training? Definitely training, because it's a great excuse to eat. <laughs> No, I like the training. Does does Simon does Simon psychoanalyze you too much? Not enough. Come on, he's my husband. He, he just ignores me all the time. He's too busy on on Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> oh, yeah, following you. <laughs> no, it's... Oh yeah, right, right, right. All right, Simon, would you rather speak uh, on a panel or be a, uh, be a keynote speaker? speaker? All right. Hey, who's the better cook? Uh, it depends. If we need something within four minutes, it's Leslie. If we want it to taste good, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> when did you do realize she was faster than you on uh, the bike? After about 97 seconds of meeting her. <laughs> who's the better driver? Oh, Leslie, he, definitely. He gets so distracted, it's horrible. Yeah, and I'm, you know, here, I'm from a, a oh. mind run. Anyway, keep going. What's the next question? <laughs> okay, Charlize, Charlize Theron or Emily Blunt? Oh, Charlize Theron. Oh, I thought you were going to go I with guess. Emily. So, which, what's uh, Leslie? What's Leslie's astrological sign? Oh, what? Oh, God. Oh, Libra. 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 I don't know Libra. It's Libra. Yeah. That means I'm balanced. So well, right there, two minds were better than one. <laughs> <That> was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Hey, so Simon, what's the most interesting topic you use to try to break an ice, break the ice with an athlete? Um, I I just get them to talk about their you know their life as an athlete, and I listen to the words they they use and the words they don't use, and things they leave out is more important than the things that they emphasize often. So it's getting the conversation going. You always need entry points, so anything. And you can talk about anything. But let's be honest, Mike. Americans what? like to speak about themselves, so it's not that difficult. Listen, right? this I, is I, the I, mouth. Look, you can't oh. say that. <laughs> well, you know, you know, when you go to a party, you know how you find the uh, the Iron Man athlete in the room. The one with the tan. Just wait; they'll come up and tell <laughs> you. <laughs> All right, guys, both of you. Do you like spontaneous travel or planned travel? Uh, I like planned travel. I like planned travel because then I can really get excited about it and sun and, and yeah. kind of you know really. sun su sunrise or sunset. Sunset for me. Sunrise for me. Yeah. Riding on the trail or the road. Road for me. Um, both. I love them both equally. Definitely. I've had more accidents right. on the trail, so so I don't know. I'm a bit. What's the what's the favorite what's the favorite place you two traveled to? It has to be both your Philippines. favorite place. Tahiti, Philippines, Tahiti. Uh, uh, Philippines. I, I'd say the Philippines yeah, actually. Yeah, pretty cool. Just because culturally it's totally amazing, and to race in a country that's so different culturally from your own, you get to experience something very unique. And, and the people were just people amazing. Were, oh yeah. my gosh, you feel like you, you feel like celebrities. It's wild. So, who's the smartest person you ever met? Obviously. Uh, yeah. Right. Come on. Uh, oh, I've met quite a few smart people. Um, <laughs> Margaret Thatcher? Margaret Thatcher was pretty smart, yeah. I met her. I mean, you're at the middle of my uh, My uh, gr uh, grandmother from my uncle's side uh, won a Nobel Prize for chemistry, Dorothy Hodgkin. So that was, uh, she was pretty smart. Hodgkin's disease and... Leslie. Leslie, how the heck do you live well, with that? What I, I can't, you can't. You compete. can't compete. Well, at least I can drop them on a bike. <laughs> you know, that that, <laughs> that, that, that gets them going. So, yeah, I, I, warm weather or colder weather for a hard race? Warm weather. Warm weather. Now it used to be cold weather, Mike. I'm Scottish, so that used to be my bread and butter. Was the colder the better? If the rain was sideways, yeah. it was awesome. But now I hate that. I'm a total Californian wimp. <laughs> so wait, would you consider your garage dirty dirty or organized oh, chaos? it's it's dirty because you know what we don't it's really bad we don't have a toilet down there and it's like three stories down so wait what yeah so i'm what often often peeing in a box what yeah okay hey okay pee in your wet oh yeah oh yeah
I mean, like <laughs> dancing, dancing alone or in a crowd? Um, probably, probably. Well, for other people's health alone, um, but uh, rarely. In, in a crowd, so we can't show ourselves up. Probably. That's right. IPA or Guinness? Uh, oh, it depends on the mood. Your IPA, I'd have to go with. No alcohol for me. I'm, I'm a sado. You know, she's never drunk. You're a sado, so I can't. Add... <laughs> really, I love it. So, what's the worst bike crash you ever oh, had? Oh, man. So, right? yeah, it was the day before a big, massive race, and I went over the handlebars. It was a mountain bike, a World Cup mountain bike race. Went over the handlebars and I broke my uh, my hand and my wrist. So both hands were completely bandaged up. And let me tell you, trying to get to the toilet when you can't use either hand is a rather interesting proposal. Yeah, it wasn't pleasant for me. Yeah. No. Yeah, I was going to say, th thank God for Simon. <laughs> huh? So what's, what's your favorite junk food? Oh, chocolate. No doubt about it. So, Pizza. Cadbury's, Cadbury's Dairy Milk or Galaxy, like all the British, British or European chocolates. We have a British shop near us, so we go stockpile on that, and that's the every every evening. Oh, it's bad. So riding riding in a hot convertible race car or a Harley Davidson? Oh, Harley Davidson. So I've got a Harley Davidson. Uh, I know, I got that picture. Uh, what's your most embarrassing? Race moment. Um, okay, so... I can tell this on four us, okay, I know. Can, yeah, Leslie on. was doing a running race, uh, a, a trail, a cross-country race, and she, uh, put it this way, she needed to go to the bathroom, number two, but couldn't, didn't want to stop uh, racing because she was in the lead. So about 100 metres before the finish, she started to just go to the toilet on herself, and then she, no one knew that. So she just kept running through the finish line and just kept running. And I looked at her, why she keep running? And then I didn't realize it was muddy out there. Where was the mud? It was dry, it was Southern California. And she just kept <laughs> on a straight line and we never saw her again for 10 minutes. She came back completely soaked. She'd been in the toilet, taken all her clothes off, washed them and put them back on oh, and went onto the podium. It was either, you know, win and shit yourself or lose and <laughs> pop into the bushes. Well, I one time at a finish line, we had a champion come in she comes to the finish line, turns around to wave to the crowd. I saw what I saw, and I wrapped a Mylar blanket around her. And she goes, Mike, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not cold. I don't need a blanket. I go, oh, I know you're not cold, but you need this blanket. <laughs> and then she realized. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, hey, action film or a love story? Love story. Yeah. We, yeah. Our favorite film of all time is Love Actually. Love. <laughs> Come on now. I love it. That was on the other night. I love it. Jimmy Fallon or Jimmy Kimmel? Um, Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. How about uh, Phil Liggett or that guy on the microphone in Hawaii? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even ask that. Oh, come on now. Oh, that's funny. What, 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 when are you most anxious? The night before a race or the morning of? Morning of, for sure. Oh, my goodness, yeah. You just wonder, like, why am I doing that's, this? That's, that's, What's this about? Why do I, why do I do like this to myself all the time? Yeah, and it's brutal. Never changes. You just get through it. Simon, besides Leslie, who's your famer, fa uh, favorite female pro track? Um, probably uh, either... It used to be Jody Swallow, Jody Kanama, because we're good friends of our Um I, I love Heather Jackson, of course. Always root for Heather, friends of ours and stuff. So, yeah, there's lots to choose from. So there's a good question for you, Leslie. Heather or Wadi? Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. Wadi to, drink, Wadi to drink a beer with, Heather to go for a ride with. Or maybe we should flip flop that, actually. <laughs> they, they, that, that, was, that was a great answer. Uh, Exploring new places on a bike or on foot? On foot. I absolutely. My, I love doing it when I travel, running around everywhere, checking out the sites. Uh, one of my favorite places to run in is D.C. Um, because of all the monuments. And if you go mm. first thing in the morning when no oh, one's there, you can like run right up to the Lincoln Memorial. It's phenomenal. I've done that. That is, that is beautiful. Uh, you a morning... Train in the morning or afternoon? Let's just say that I got up at 3.30 this morning so I could train before this. So definitely a morning person. 
I know. He's oh, neater. Oh gosh, I got up. At, I got up at three thirty. I got up at three thirty-two to go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, how about uh, what was the other one I wanted to ask? I forgot where to go. Oh yeah, coffee or tea? Coffee. Tea with milk and sugar. Coffee and a chocolate biscuit. I love it. I love it. Heart rate or power pace? Power. Power. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm normally no actually. I'm, I'm more. I'm more on fuel. Yeah, I'm a fuel athlete. I'm a ethereal. What negative, Simon? What negative word bugs you the word the most? Um, Fear. Nobody. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Yeah, yeah. Th those aren't words, are they? I don't, I don't <laughs> That's know. different than I won't. But I can't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not when they're not when they're put together. Hey, Cozumel or Los Cabos? Oh, Cozumel. Cozumel. So we've not been at Los Caz Cabos, but we hosted a camp in Cozumel for a few years in a row. That was right. beautiful. Yeah, amazing. So you, how about listening while you're working out, podcast or uh, music? So I listen to podcasts when um, I'm warming up and cooling down or going easy so I can actually think. When I'm going hard, I listen to German techno. <laughs> well, I've it. got to tell you, Mike, you, you travel to a race with Leslie at 4.30 in the morning and she's got German techno. It's like, I, I, again, I'd rather like, drink bleach and sit on a screwdriver. It's unbearable. Unbearable. I have to wear, I have to wear like, you know, construction worker headphones. Okay, puke on the run or slow down? Oh, puke on the run. Come on now. Yeah, definitely. Done that a few times. <laughs> sit up. Okay, working out. Sit ups or planks? Sit ups. Yeah, I get bored doing planks and then you're just thinking about oh, the pain. Uh, how about yoga or spin? Uh, yoga, the spin, yeah. spin classes just irritate me because yeah. the instructors kind of are annoying because they're often hybrid cyclists and they don't, I don't know, it's just they're kind of yeah. weird. So, Simon, back in your cycling days, what one race would you have liked to have won? Um, I would have loved to have won the Junior Tour of Ireland. Why? Because the country cool. is amazing. The people are amazing. The support for that race is amazing. Uh, yeah, would always have, it's really would have loved to have done that. Hard courses. Yeah. Hard, hard, hard. Have you been doing any virtual racing? Do you know what? I haven't. I mean, we're lucky in California we can get outside, and that's my passion is to be outside. Um, mm -hmm. I find, I don't know, I'm just not in it, the virtual thing. Uh, maybe I should be, but I just love to, yeah, love yeah, to be yeah. outside. Be outside, man. Yeah, we're pretty lucky here. How about, what's your favorite, you guys' favorite uh, summer Olympic sport? Oh. Um, I love gymnastics. Yeah. Oh, it's so exciting. Swimming yeah. is pretty cool. Swimming, I love it because it looks like dancing. Yeah. But there's something about gymnastics where you're always on the edge of your seat. You're always slightly nervous. Are they going to nail it? Are they not? And when they do, it's so amazing. And yeah, it's just such a different, yeah, yeah. it's such a different sport than ours that it, it just feel like, you know, it's just totally, yeah. you can't imagine it, but you can, you know. What about winter sports? Uh, I love ski jump. I love the, the half pipe, the snowboarding half pipe. Yeah, with all the tricks and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'd be rubbish. So, uh, how long did it take you guys to go stir crazy into our uh little bit of a lockdown here yeah you know what's funny is again because i get to go outside it's not as bad for me but i'll get home and hubs here is like a grumpy so-and-so um because he's been in all day um you know as long as he can see his bodies i think we're, we're okay but that, that's been the hardest thing just not having having the chat having the banter and uh, we're used to that and so you right. get bored of each other and irritates i never get i never get bored of her mike Boy, that is the perfect husband. <laughs> <I know. laughs> you, you, oh, man. <laughs> so, guys, hey, Norma Tech, leg recovery or hip recovery? What do you like? Leg, 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 leg. Definitely, man. It's epic. Sit back, watch a movie. Because we have to, we of course have to watch a lot of movies, given that's the business we're now in. <laughs> so get the Norma Tech on, lie back on our sofa, watch a movie on our big screen. Nothing better than that. Did you guys ever get into the uh, TV series Bosch, the LA? No. Oh, is it good? What's, what's it on? Netflix or? It's on, uh, it might be on Prime, okay. but it's B-O-S-C-H. Mm. Uh, Titus, Titus Welliver. 
uh, produced it and put it together, and he's the star in it. it it's just amazing. Oh, wow. It's just amazing. Oh, we'll check it out, man. <laughs> yeah, it's gone through, set, gone through seven seasons, and Rose and I binged it. Oh, wow. Thing. In like a week and a half. Yeah. yeah. Have you watched the 30 on 30, the Lance, the Michael Jordan, all that stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah, all of them. All well of them. done. Definitely. Good yeah. stuff. So have you done more in-house cooking or takeout during this? We've probably done a mixture, haven't we? Door, a lot of DoorDash and then uh, and then cooking. It's just occasionally it's just nice to so we're stuck inside. and to, so I feel you know. like you've got, you know, a big thing for us, and, and in fact we've done a lot of talks on this, is you need to give yourself rewards. You mm. need to make sure that every day that you have – some structure, routine, and reward to get you through this time, uh, to get those dopamine surges going. And so the reward of, uh, yeah, take notes, take notes, hubs. Um, so the reward of kind of having takeout makes it exciting. But then we've also done a lot of, like we've tried cooking some different things. We've we bought an Instapot and we've done a few curries, you know, good old British curry. Oh, yep, and the Instapot, so yeah. good times. Wow. So how much, I, I'm, we're, we're about done with the questions. I mean, the last one was late night ice cream or late night cookies. Oh, ice cream and cookies together. What are you talking about? You get <laughs> cookies. You can't put them in the ice cream. With a little ma ma magic shell. Exactly. Like when you're an all or nothing person, of course, you're going to choose both. Exactly. Well, I, I haven't had magic shell in like 10, 15 years. And Graham, my our grandson, you know, he'd be six years old in November. He got into it. Andrew bought him, and he comes to the house to stay over the weekend. Papa, you don't have any magic shell. I go, oh my god! I went right to the store and got. Magic. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. So good, good, good story about Mike here is how, you know how we how we really got to know you was because your uh, your your son, your daughter, and son-in-law were our neighbors for what eight years. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. I know. Your friends, yeah. Matter of fact, it's my little girl's birthday today. Oh, no. Oh, how, how old is it? 37. Two yeah. years? 30, she's oh, 30, 30, grand, 30 granddaughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. I, I know. <laughs> Ancient. So, guys, what's your advice? Because I know a big part of your life is humor and being able to laugh at yourselves, laugh with others. And sometimes, uh, I think all the time, it's probably some of the best medicine you can kind of give yourself, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think it's just not taking yourself so seriously. We can get so intense with what we need to achieve and, you know, comparing to other people on social media and feeling like we're never enough. Um, and I think it's just this time for us has really been um, uh, reconnecting with our families, albeit, you know, on, on Zoom or, or however, um, and being grateful for what you do have because you see the world around you and the people that don't have things. Um, and all of a sudden, the small little things that used to bother you, like, oh, I didn't hit this power number or that power numbers, all of a sudden kind of pilfers away, right? And you're like, okay, let's look at the bigger picture here. What's important? What do we love about what it is that we do and the people around us? And how do we create that awesome support network to make sure that we keep in that mindset? Yeah. Isn't it? So absolutely. In fact, you know, you've only got to smile for a few minutes and your whole brain chemistry changes. It's, so smile, even if you're rotting, miserable old fart inside, smile and eventually you'll start to feel better. <laughs> You know, it's amazing when people come across the finish line at Ironman races. I've witnessed so many different expressions, obviously. I mean, I, I wish I could bottle them all up. But sometimes there'll be somebody coming and they're like not smiling or they don't look like they have joy on their face. And they could be hurting and had a bad day and whatever. But as soon as I say, come on, give us a smile, they kind of let loose and you see their oh, whole yeah. body go into a different different form and different relaxing. And a lot of them will smile eh? and then right away go back into the funk. But I go, just that few seconds, I think, uh, really elicits a lot inside the human. It is. And, it, and, it, and it's a technique that we train our athletes to force them when they're struggling to force themselves to smile. Yep. And there's a, lot, there's a lot of physical postures. There's a lot of uh, physical mechanisms that we can do to actually bring about hormonal responses and um, mm -hmm. you know uh, chemical responses in the brain um, yeah. so there's so many different ways to sort of keep your attitude a bit a bit more positive more sprightly, yeah. yeah well guys thank you very much for your time today i can't wait to see you again 
close up, you know, like in the real world. I, I hope we cross paths soon. And no matter what the future holds for you, the best of luck. I know you guys, uh, your attitude has influenced thousands and thousands of athletes. Your camp you put on, your coaching, uh, and, and our sport of endurance is so much better off because you oh. are in it. And, and uh, thank you from the bottom it's of the that's, that's, that's a pleasure. And, and as we say in Britain, Mike, it's your round. <laughs> okay, you, you got it. I'll always buy it. Yeah. We're coming right in. All right, Mikey. Thanks, buddy. Okay, bye bye. Hello. Take care Ciao. of yourselves. <laughs>